how many times have you looked in the car mirror and you have like a third eyebrow that was not there when you left the house? it's Becky welcome back to my channel if you are new here make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos that I do every single week about cleaning and organizing and homeschooling and fitness and mom life I have tons of videos and I do videos every single week here on my channel so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of those so if you don't know already I am a stay-at-home mom a work-at-home mom and a homeschooling mom so I'm here at home a lot but we're also on the go a lot we're going back and forth to appointments running errands, going on family vacations, taking the girls back and forth to different activities and events. Over the last 13 years of being a stay-at-home mom, I have learned quite a few things that I have found invaluable to have with me at all times in my purse or in the car. And let's be honest, our car is really like a rolling purse. So there are just a couple things that I know that I have to have with me in my purse and or my car at all times. And so that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today, mom essentials that you must have with you at all times. So the first thing that I think any mom or any woman needs to have with them at any given time are Kleenex. Now, this is the Kleenex Go Anywhere pack. It's their new travel version of travel tissues. So what I like about these is they're really slim, but it's a bigger pack. So you get three times more tissues in this Go Anywhere pack than you do any typical like travel pack of tissues. So you get a lot more in here, so they're gonna last you a lot longer. So they have a really slim design, so they're gonna fit in neatly and nicely wherever you need to put them. And they have a snap closure on the front, so you're not having like that big tear in your bag that sometimes gets too big and your tissues fall out. It's got a nice snap closure. Another really nice thing about the Kleenex Go Anywhere pack is this snap ribbon that is at the top of these. So you can unsnap it and hook this pack of tissues to anything or anywhere you're gonna need tissues on hand. So you can hang them from your purse, your backpack, your gym bag, your diaper bag, on the stroller, in the back seat where your kids are. You can have one of these next to each child so they each have their own pack of tissues and they're not gonna go flying all over the car because they have this little handy strap. I really like having Kleenex on hand because they're pretty much the perfect multi-purpose thing to have. And these are not like tiny little tissues. The Kleenex Go Anywhere packs are like full-size, large tissues that are three-ply, so they are super soft and absorbent and really versatile for wiping noses and dirty hands and smeared makeup and blotting your face, cleaning up baby spit up and messes like that. So they really are the perfect essential that every mom needs in her bag. So the next mom essential on my list, and really anybody essential, is a portable cell phone charger. Now, my husband wanted to get this a couple years ago. I kind of thought it was just him being dumb and wanting to get like an impulse techie thing. But he turned out to be right, and it is one of those items that maybe you don't use that often, but the one time that you need it, you're really, really glad you have it. And as a mom, the last thing you wanna do is be out somewhere with your kids and need to call somebody and you do not have, your, your phone's dead. Basically what you do is you charge this up, and then if you're out and your phone dies, you can plug this into your phone and you will get a charge from this onto your phone. It's really nice because we're able to fully charge our phones a couple times from just one charge of this. So it's really an invaluable thing to have that everybody should have in their car or in their purse. The next mom essential is a your lips but better lip color. I don't necessarily wanna take an entire makeup bag full of like eyeliner and blush and powder and lipstick, but I do like to have a couple things with me when I want to freshen up and make myself more presentable. And so I think the easiest way to do that is to find a your lips but better lip color. So something that maybe is close to your own natural lip color but maybe just a little bit better with maybe a little bit of shine. And I really like the ones that they make now that have the point so that you don't even need lip liner. It's very easy to draw on, you know, up close to your lip line. And I like this color, which has been discontinued, of course. I guess it has. I can't find it in any of my stores and I had to get this one from Amazon. Um, for the second time, but it's the CoverGirl Jumbo Gloss Balm Sheer in color 225. I've got it on right now with a little bit of a clear gloss on top so you can kind of get an idea, but it's basically pretty much what my natural lips look like, but just a little bit better, and so it makes it really easy and it makes it really easy to wear and easy to apply on the go without looking overly done up and without having to be like a slave to your lipstick. Another item that I have found to be so amazing over the years are these Clorox wipes. They're travel size Clorox wipes. You can get these in the travel section of pretty much any store. And yes, value wise, they're not the best thing in the world. Usually they're between 70 to 90 cents per pack of nine wipes. But honestly, I don't use them every single day, so they last longer. I use them a lot more when my kids were younger, but they're perfect for wiping down high chairs. If you get to a table in a restaurant and it's gross or there's something sticky in the seat, 
these are really nice to pull out of your bag and wipe down whatever mess it is and get it cleaned up and you know you're killing all the germs and all that stuff. So these are perfect and it's a great size for your purse or bag. Another item that I have learned over the years that I really need to have with me in my purse or my car are travel tweezers. I know that sounds dumb, but how many times have you looked in the car mirror and you have like a third eyebrow that was not there when you left the house? That's happened to me so many times and I'm like, I'm so embarrassed that I don't have any tweezers. So I learned finally to get a set of travel tweezers. These are actually the Tweezer Man travel tweezers and of course Tweezer Man is an amazing brand, but these are teeny tiny little, little tweezers and I keep them in like a little closed up change section of my van uh, right out here in the corner. And so that way when I look in the car mirror and I see that I've sprouted like, you know, hairs that were not there earlier or that I didn't see earlier, I can tweeze them really quickly without having to be embarrassed that I have a third eyebrow. So, and they're not that expensive. I think they're 10 or $15 at Ulta and you can use a coupon. So, um, it's a really great thing to have with you. And they're also good too if you get splinters or your kid gets a splinter at the park or something you've got tweezers that you can get it out with right there. Kind of along the same lines as tweezers are nail clippers. I don't have any in here to show you. I don't have any in here with me to show you right now, but nail clippers are so nice if you or your kids or your husband or whoever, you're out and they get a hang nail or like you break a fingernail and it's got a point on the end. I really like having clippers with us because they come in really handy and you don't have to hear the kids whine all day that they've got a hang nail. You can clip it off right there and get it taken care of. Another mom essential that you should have with you on the go are these dental care items. And these are the Dentec dental picks. They're like basically plastic toothpicks that have little um, ridges on the end to help you if you get something stuck in your teeth, which I mean, how many times you've been in the car and you look or you're out somewhere and you realize you have something in your teeth. I've gotten stuff out of the trash can in the car before, like little pieces of envelope and try to get it out. So this is a much better option. I got these at the Dollar Tree and there are a hundred in this pack. So that's going to last you a long time. Another thing I really like are these Colgate Wisp. They're basically little tiny disposable toothbrushes. Now these do have a little pick at the end, but I didn't want to, there are times I didn't need a brush. I just needed a pick. I didn't want to waste like this head by sticking this into my mouth and then not using the other end. So these are just if I have something kind of in my teeth, just I want to get out really quickly. And these are nice for if you are out somewhere and you want to brush your teeth, you're on a long trip in the car or an airplane or something like that and you want to freshen up. Maybe you have an interview later or you're going to a dental appointment later and you know you can't brush your teeth before you go to the appointment. I really like these also for if you've been out somewhere and you eat something that has garlic or onions and you don't want to go like scaring everybody away with your breath. These are really nice to have for that. They don't take up very much space. Obviously, I wouldn't carry around the whole bag of these, but you know, get something small, even a travel toothbrush holder that would typically hold a toothbrush. Throw a couple of these in there and a couple of these in there. Keep them in your purse or in your glove compartment, and you know you have them when you need them. And again, it's one of those things that when you are out somewhere and you have something in your teeth or your breath is not the best, these are things you're going to really appreciate having when you have actually thought to go ahead and put them in your car or your purse. Another mom essential for me is basically my walking pharmacy. And I don't take a whole lot, but there are some things I don't leave home without. And one of those things is my little pill case. Now this is a coach one. I know you can get them at all different places or you can get just a cheap plastic one at the Dollar Tree. But I have a couple supplements that I take every single day that I carry with me in my purse. And then I have a couple other things that I like to bring with me in case somebody needs them. So I have pain reliever in this one. I keep some Pepto like pill tablet things at the bottom. And then I keep Tums in the other one. And they're so nice to have because there's been so many times that I've been out somewhere that I have needed something or somebody with me has needed something like, like a pain reliever or something like that. And whatever you're gonna need or you might need or your supplements for the day, keep them with you so you don't forget to take your supplements and so that you have things available to you when you or somebody else needs something. Something else I love to have as a mom and just as somebody who doesn't like to do things with dirty hands is some kind of a hand sanitizer. Now, I know there's a big issue with people saying that hand sanitizers are actually more harmful than good because they kill your good bacteria as well. And I do agree with that. I think you definitely should not overuse hand sanitizer and you should wash your hands with just plain old soap and water whenever possible. But there are plenty of times, especially if you're out with your kids, you can't necessarily get to somewhere to wash your hands with soap and water. So it comes in really handy to have some type of hand sanitizer in your bag. I really like the Honest Company hand sanitizer spray. We recently started using this about a year or so ago. We made the switch from a traditional one that had parabens and chemicals I didn't really love in it to this. And it is 99 point, it kills 99.9% .9 of germs and bacteria. They have different scents to them. 
but there's no harsh chemicals, there's no triclosan, there's no parabens, there's no chlorine, so it's definitely a safer version of a hand sanitizer. And again, it's not meant to substitute for soap and water, but when the when you can't get to soap and water, um, or at least until you can get there and you've touched something gross, your kids have touched something gross, this definitely is handy to have, and I keep this in my purse at all times. I just got this new one to make sure that I do not run out. So my next suggestion for something you might like to have with you on the go is some type of sunscreen for you and your kids, especially for you on the backs of your hands because you get a lot of sun exposure through the windows when you're driving and you've got your hands on the wheels. It really seems like a silly thing, but it does add up. There's a lot of sun coming in those front windows and you can get a lot of age on your hands just by not protecting them with sunscreen. The same thing for your kids. I really recommend bringing sunscreen with you or keeping it in the car because that way if you're out and you would decide you wanna to go to the park or the duck pond, your kids are prepared, you've got sunscreen, you can spray them down, wait a, you know, wait a couple minutes and let it soak in and then go to the park and do whatever you wanna do without having to worry about your kids getting unnecessary sun damage or sunburn. Along the same lines is to keep a backup hat for your kids or yourself too. Um, but my kids especially, I like to have a backup of their sun hats. This is the Tuga brand uh, SPF sun hat. So it's actually got sun protection built inside the hat. So I definitely wouldn't recommend this instead of sunscreen, but it's a nice addition to sunscreen and it's certainly better than nothing. Even if you don't have sunscreen with you, it's definitely gonna give you a little bit of protection and shade on your face. They have all different styles. This is my oldest daughter's, and so she had to move up to a bigger size recently. Um, but they have like the removable strap, and they are really nice, um, like almost a swimsuit material. So if they get wet, they dry out really quickly. And we have tons of these in our house in all different patterns, and the girls use them every single day pretty much. So um, I actually did a video about that a long time ago, and I'll link it in the description box below if you want more information about those hats. But I think they're amazing, and they're something you're going to want to keep in the car for any time you're gonna be outside the sun and um, you want some extra sun protection. The last mom essential on my list is pretty basic. Sometimes the basic things are the things that we forget about the most, but it is a travel trash can. I don't have mine with me, but I'll insert a picture of it here so you can see it's basically just a waterproof uh, trash can that I got off Amazon a couple years ago and this one stays up in the front with me, but definitely you could get one for the back seat too if you want one for your kids just for them to have their own trash can. But it's really nice to have a set place for trash to go so you're not just throwing it down in the little pockets in your car, you're not just throwing it in the floor. And I think it, it helps you to keep things more organized and more neat inside your car when you have a place for things to go, even trash. So I hope these mom on the go essentials were helpful for you guys and gave you some ideas of things to think about when you are going out that would really be helpful and convenient for you guys. If you did find this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below, what are your mom essentials? What are those things that like you do not wanna be out of the house without these things? So definitely leave me in a comment below and let me know. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.